so hello soldatans and welcome to another replay this time we are on on Angeville where we have a Soviet army against a Wehrmacht so the interesting uh, tactics which we will see today is that the Wehrmacht will use assault mechanized doctrine as we can see here right away this is my opponent while I will use uh, shock troops but I will only pick that later on so the first stages of the war of the battle I will go and capture the left side with my pioneers while I will focus my main uh, force on the right with my conscript force here we see them here we see them yeah the second conscript force on the other side, the Wehrmacht uh, already fortified this position, which uh, he thought that will be a key. And here he made a little mistake, he went before he captured, so he will lose a few seconds there. Really bad decision for him. I mean, it's not that terrible. Also, he's using this MG42 to capture the point, which is good. Ah, I tried to go in tried to capture because I saw that there was nothing through the fog of war and just in the last seconds he moves in. So I'm trying to keep this on the edge, trying to capture while they can't see me. But here he moves with his MG42, so he is being aggressive with it, so this is definitely a great showcase of uh, knowledge and tactical advancement. So he is using the MG42 to look at his to support, his assault. Grenadiers which will go in and spot for him. So far so good for the Wehrmacht and he is getting the second MG42. So I'm trying to go in now, trying to outflank while these conscripts are capturing that. We have three conscripts on the field at the moment but I mean against two MG42s there isn't much you can do. Over here he did saw me and he will turn this MG42. Sadly I thought that he'll go for this one. Oh, sorry. But what can we do? Uh, on the left, still no opposition. I'm capturing everything. The battle is here. I'm moving here from the flank with this guy trying to get him. Now I'm getting these guys as well, trying to uh, get as much damage as I can from all sides. But here comes the MG inside the building. I'm entering this building and yeah. That's the top. And he turned this MG42, instead of facing these guys, he turned away for this. So he is definitely managing his MGs in a great order, so he's definitely thinking how to manage them and what to do with them. Definitely good call for my opponent. Finally he got one Pioneer over here to help him capture the left while we are battling over there. We'll see how that will go. He's MG42 here covering this and this, hmm, while well, these guys are guarding the flank, fine. He built more sandbags on this side as well, getting more pioneers, so he has two pioneers, no? I, 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 I was trying to do as much damage as I can, I, mean, I thought I'm inside the building, but uh, my conscripts don't have the range which MG42 has, look at this, Nikolai. What the fuck? So yeah, the MG42 is really pounding hard at me here. There's nothing I can do. And I see these guys with flamethrowers. And what else can you do but run, honestly? What can what else can you do? Or here I'm trying to split this force now because I expect that MG42 will come. And here it comes. Trying to split the news range against these guys. That way... I will uh, minimize his advantage, advantage of close combat and advantage of suppression. So yeah, and also this house can provide me some cover. And yep, not anymore. Uh, I managed to get the heavy cover. That will help against the MG42, but it will burn me against these guys. Once I've tried to get this, oh my god, second MG42 is there. And look at this, he's quickly to send some guys there because he anticipated that I will move there and he did a right job. Look at this, constantly shifting these MG42s, constantly moving with them, definitely using the maximum amount 
he can. I'm throwing a Molotov over, over here, trying to burn them out. But the MG42s are managing to suppress me. I'm trying to outflank, but yeah. These guys will eat me if I try to. So the best thing I can do is to run. Also, we got the medics because if you are to build a heavy infantry, you need medics. You definitely do. Also, my enemy already attacked up and he got a 2 2 2 on the field now. So I'm uh, researching anti tank grenades as well. Now I will move there. Uh, he will secure his position here with MGs. Here, this is a pretty good position to cover. And he'll cover, I would here, yep, look at this, for flank, so that I can flank, but just take a look at his MG42s, they're always overlapping, one MG is always covering the rear of another MG every single time. 2-2-2 two, 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 keeping distance and firing, I don't have enough of ammo now to charge and get him, so I'm trying to lower him in. I was like, okay, I will go for backwards and forwards and try to lower him in. And while he's moving forwards and I'm retreating, when he's not taking care, I'll use that one extra second and charge forward as well. Here it comes. Anti-tank grenade. Damage the engine. Damage the engine. Now I'm using the URA. Trying to get the second squad. They can't see me. Oh, now they can. Will he retreat? Come on, anti-tank grenade. Ah, uh, uh, Shizo, nine. Come on, unbelievable. Two guys retreating now. He's sending in the MG42 as well, so he's leaving this one exposed. But look at this oversight. He can see everything. He sees right outside of my base, and ah, uh, he's suppressing me. I'm outside the range now. You can't fire. Yep, good. So he's sending in the second MG42 here to support. Uh, his effort. I am constantly switching with my conscripts. I have four conscripts. Let's take a look at the forces we have. So yeah. Uh, my opponent has Panzer Grenadieren. So he will go for a really uh, good build, really close quarters build. It's it's a, it's a good uh, aggressive build, definitely. Uh, my opponent is bleeding me and he has the fuel I don't have the fuel <clears throat> don't have it yet so finally I went with counter tactics with KV-1s because I saw that he, he has some advantage and I thought okay well, I will use shock troops I had also the shock army but I thought that, I mean, maybe it is better for me to use this one because of the B4 and the KV-1 because they're constantly switching and stuff like that just to support. Over here we made a mistake. We haven't split the force when we tried to move. Trying to throw the anti-tank grenade but got suppressed and we'll get a wipe. No, oh, this saved my ass but these guys will get wiped. Yep, I need to retreat from these guys. Yeah, 2-2-2, two, 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 wiping me. So, he wiped one of my infantry squads. I'm really struggling now. But on the right, we had a success. These shock troops used the small grenade and the anti-personnel grenade and cleared this MG-42. But we will not capture this MG-42 with the shock troops because they are so expensive to repel it. So, we will send in the Pioneers to capture it. And that way will provide us with some um, extra manpower and less cost. Here he could have used the armor piercing round. That will help a lot, but he haven't. And I'm on the retreat immediately. Do, do, do. Literally gave me the 7042, which will help us a lot. And now here they come. Come on, I throw the anti tank rate. Oh, he managed to slip away. He managed to slip away against the hold of the conscript. So here we will split the force and enter this building to provide me some cover. But again, I, I will take heavy casualty because of his auto cannon. Left side being captured by Pioneers and Panzergrenadiers. 
while my opponent is switching on the right side again a little bit just throw it come on throw yeah throwing this i hate this scout guy it is so unbelievably lucky here comes the panzer grenadiers and i'm quick to retreat because i saw these uh, this MG42, which will suppress me, these guys will eat me. So now we see that my opponent has two MG, uh, two uh, Panzer Grenadiers. He's definitely moving with some heavy infantry. And also here we have uh, the S minefield placed on this key position. Look at this to cover this whole section. I only have this point. <laughs> only have that point. My enemy holds everything. Uh, I'm sending in my MG42. Man by the pioneers, let's take a look at them. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, fire that machine gun. We have the AT as well, not played so that they can move and fire at the cars. Our here, I tried to lower in this Panzer Grenadier, yeah, and yep, they're buying it, they're buying it. But as I see them moving towards the AT, I retreat because I expect a bundle grenade. Yeah, look at that. He tried, but then he, in the last second he moved. Here comes the scout car. Come on, throw that anti-tank grenade. We don't have enough resources. Isn't that sad? We managed to slip away because we lacked the ammo. Over here we upgraded our pioneers with the hazard removal package which is giving them uh, a mine sweeper mine detector to detect the mines and move these guys are moving up again don't know why why are they not uh, capturing the formerly but probably to repair this guy or here the enemy tried to move in but this mg42 is already repaying itself already repaying itself we managed to push two assaults two waves of enemy assault on our position with it so definitely great thing that we managed to capture it my opponent is getting a third panzer grenadier third panzer grenadier that is weird so yeah let's return over here my conscript trying to push this side over here so again Scout car survived. So here comes my shock troops moving forwards. Let's take a look. Yep. Yep. They all escaped. <laughs> At the first sight of the shock troops, the assault grenadiers will retreat. Because they know that they don't stand a chance. Here they, they are firing fire. Look at their face. They are angry Germans. Here comes the shock troop strength third flank, but here comes the MG42. He must place it, he must place it now, place the MG42. The PA is placing the MG42 now, covering this whole section, flanking these guys, bundle grenade coming in. And I'm quick to retreat because there is nothing I can do. While over here on the right, yep, the MG42 has us. He's moving it again. And he's making pressure over there. Over here, my conscripts are engaging the Panzer Grenadiers. So, I mean, even though that it is uh, not a close range, it's a mid range, and uh, Sturmgewehr can do some damage uh, at this range in the hands of these Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, they're just looking at this Russian which is slowly dying. They don't have mercy, they will not kill him. They will leave him to suffer. Or here at this MG, I would definitely move his arc a little bit so that he can cover this as well. And not and because look at this, this wall covering nothing. So these guys again moving inside this building at the first sight of me capturing these points. He's desperately trying to hold this position from me, not allowing me to capture it or to put pressure there. He moves his MG42 again. A good display of knowledge of the game and I'm placing my MG42 in this direction and here comes the shock troops here comes these guys with flam and rifles. I'm moving flanking actually these guys and I'm gonna throw the grenade and I'm gonna run boom only one kill how sad is that unbelievable now these guys must retreat retreat 
Retreat, comrades! They re they, he's retreating, will he manage to escape? Yes! The 2-2-2 two, two, two had to move because of these guys approaching. Here I come from this side, we have enough... No, we don't have enough ammo. Again, what the fuck was I thinking? I mean, I, I, maybe I even tried to bluff over here. But we were quick to be pushed. These Panzer Grenadiers will go now. They will be a counterattack. They'll move forward. They'll try to capture my mortal. Let's take a look. MG42 is covering him, but he needs to move because of uh, the bundle grenade. Fire once. Boom. Yes, one shot. One shot. And now this is what we will do. We will turn this AT over here and we will stop him from moving while we will load the armor piercing round. Here it comes to force him to move this way. So wherever he moves, he will face some kind of a extreme damage against his vehicle. So good call for me, good call. Small victory, but here it comes. The Stug E is here. Turning my AT, I'm firing with an AT and I'm trying to throw the anti-tank grenade, but we were one second early to throw anti-tank grenade. This AT had to turn again in order to fire and his engine wasn't destroyed. Now here we come again, we should try to outflank with these guys up. The AT will go here and, and attack from this side, probably we'll take a look. Uh, the KV-1 will arrive soon. So my opponent is uh, now facing my counter-attack uh, on this side. Let's take a look what will happen. He's trying to get his 2E close, but here comes my conscripts and he must run. He must run now or he will face... Come on, anti-tank gr anti grenade. Quickly. Quickly, anti-tank grenade. And being suppressed, he turned his MG again. Now here these guys are coming. Come on, throw anti-tank grenade, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, outflanked, the MG42 is outflanked. He's trying to get his 2E out of there. Now here comes the second force, the second MG42 for my opponent. This MG42 is being pushed. I'm trying to stay close here, not to move. And just to make like a little ambush. But here comes the KV-1. My opponent is already got this HQ and he will face some kind of tank soon. KV-1 engaging the MG42 here. Come on. Yep. Two guys down. I'm getting my AT. This is a way to close. I should get it backwards. And here it comes. We have Ostwind coming now, charging. He didn't expect it. The KV-1. I'm definitely sure about that. Here, the MG42 covering my AT from these Panzer Grandiers, but look at these Panzer Grandiers, they are completely free to engage. AT, I just need one shot, just need one shot. Yep, AT killed the Stug, while my KV-1 will go for the Ostwin, and we managed to get him, but sadly at the cost of an AT, and now at the cost of a KV-1, because I exposed my rear armor to Panzer Shreks, they will turn their ATs. Bad call, I should have gone this way towards my MG42, but yeah, look at his double Shrek, double Shrek. So we lost an AT and a KV-1 against Ostwind and Stug E. It is not the bad trade, usually, but in this case it's not even the greatest. Luckily for me, I will soon have enough fuel again to get it. My opponent sure does have, but he lacks the manpower, he has... A huge infantry force and that is really uh, really taking its toe on his manpower over here on the right side we are trying to contain enemy push I have mortar out as well great call for me these guys are firing at the building don't know why this is bug so I managed to capture this AT after they steal it I managed to get it back and now we are on the counter-attack, we are trying to push and seize the initiative. I'll try to go capture that fuel. We already captured this point here and this fuel, I will go and capture the ammo. But look at this, more S mine failed. He was really, he, he really did his job nicely. 
Or here the MG42 will wait for his troops to move first and then he will move look at that. Great display of knowledge. Great display of knowledge of how to use your troops. We are clearing the minefield uh, uh, in a Russian way, just sending waves of infantry. And yep, we luckily managed to escape. So now he is switching everything over here on this side, so I'm moving here again. I got the second uh, got the second shock troop, but sadly they've been killed by this MG42. Literally killed by the MG42. In comes these guys, don't know what I don't know what am I trying to do to accomplish here. Probably to keep them at the bay. But we'll see. All the while I am capturing this side over here completely. And I have the airplane up. We have IL-2 Sturmovic uh, making its flight over this area here. Trying to see what are they doing. So let's take a look at the points and the resources. See, I'm, I'm, I'm also trying to switch sides as much as I can. Trying to do my best. I mean, it is not easy. It, it is not easy, trust me. But here comes the pioneers seeing my conscript in this building. We finally managed to get this building. We finally managed to get it. <laughs> now I will move my MG42 here to cover this side because I expect that some kind of attack will come in that direction. While my huge infantry push will come from this side. He's placing his MG42 here nicely, but this sandbag is not complete. And yep. Immediately suppressing me, I will throw a small grenade right away. Yep, there it is. Yep, we can move now. Here comes the Panzer Grandias and Pioneers. We're here trying to outflank me. I'm trying to get these guys. Come on, move, move, move. Molotov. I'm throwing Molotov behind uh, in case that they decide to retreat. Not a bad decision, but it didn't. It, it haven't done much. It didn't done much. Look at this. He's barely alive. Here comes, here comes, come on, second smoke grenade. Now I tried to, to throw uh, anti, anti infantry grenade, anti personnel. A second KV-1 is here, but I do know that he has Panzer strikes and he has some stuff, so I will not go all in, I will just poke them over here. Uh, why are they retreating? What happened? I don't know. Yeah, I, pr I tried third flank from here, but the MG-42 covered the flank, so definitely a good usage of MG42 again, again, the big usage. So while we are battling over here on the left side, I'm trying to keep the right. Uh, I will now manage to suppress this huge blob. I soon see that these guys are splitting, and I'm going to suppress them now. And now these Panzergrenadiers are moving as well, and they will use uh, the cover of this uh, bush to move forward. So definitely a great call for this. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers and look at this veteran C3 MG42. It is always harder to kill a Soviet manned MG42. Six crew members, come on. <laughs> Over here now, I'm gonna switch with my KV2, KV13, and uh, put up some pressure on the enemy. Trying to do some damage because these guys are not equipped with the shocks, and I saw it, I know it. Again, my Conscripts will push this. I have I have a good Let's say infantry organization at the moment. I have enough to cover uh, as much as I can and I need But yeah, they just uncapped and they will move to stop the bleed because these pioneers should capture this But again, I, I mean I'm not successful in capturing this side or here. I got my Conscripts to Try to flank and capture as much as they can. So all three of my conscripts are on this side, while my shock troops are over here supporting uh, my KV-1, my AT, and Pioneers. Yeah, here comes the MG-42 now as well. But my opponent got Zitiga, so he got Zitiga, and I saw it, and I will immediately move and run away with my shock troops because there is nothing I can do. The first sight of Tiga, I went with my KV-1 to try to get some flanking shot, but he missed. Now I will go backwards, don't want to face my side armor, and I will turn this AT over here. So AT will be placed on the flank, while my KV-1 will lower him in here to that position. 
MG42 repeating itself because it is suppressing these guys and not allowing them to move. Now moving towards these guys, they're trying to come. This is this is definitely the biggest danger because if they are to move to, to my AT, then I'm done. Basing the AT again, trying to get a few shots as much as we can. Come on, fire! Fire, God damn it! Uh, he will kill my MG42, goddamn bitch. He killed my MG42, but the AT managed to fire, doing some heavy damage. K1 is behind. Oh yeah, second penetration shot. Here comes more shock troops. I'm getting two shock troops, and I will move behind this uh, force, these Panzer Grenadiers, because my uh, idea is to try to force them on run with these guys and with these guys to chop off their retreat path. AT is still alive. These pioneers <laughs> barely managed to kill it. Now the KV-1 will move in. Bounce the shot. I managed to kill that Panzer Grenadier and squad and I got their Shrek exposing its rear armor for these Panzer Shreks. Now I will move with these guys here this way as well. Trying to cut off their retreat path. KV-1 moving. KV-1 moving. Firing. Oh, they missed. Come on. And I killed it. I killed it with their own Panzer Shreks. I killed it, but he killed my KV-1 as well. And at this moment, my opponent decided to uh, surrender. I don't know why. We were we were kind of uh, balanced, but look at this. I mean, yeah, he lost a lot. He pretty much lost a lot, but he could literally got the Panzer IV immediately. I, this was a rage quit. And I believe I had this game. I, I definitely was turning away this game with these shock troops and the KV ones. Definitely did, and especially with this shock, it could help me a lot. Also, I was, I was capturing this side again. I mean, I was poking him this whole time, and he couldn't do uh, much. He all he every time he would send his whole force to deal with it, trying to get that killing blow uh, every time, trying to get that huge huge advantage but he never managed to get to got that killing blow so it was an interesting game uh, I definitely wanted to show this just wanted to tell you uh, how to play correctly with your mg42s this guy really used his mg42s in a best possible way you can and also to show you uh, what is a solution for the mg42s I mean for the Soviets the best solution are the shock troops but I mean, if you can't, then the best way is to uh, spread around your force, capture as much as you can, try to outflank with as much as you can, and try to poke. That way you'll have to get him on the move, and sometimes he will make some mistakes. He must make mistakes if he's uh, constantly on the move. So, thank you guys for watching, hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and to send your replays. Uh, to me on the mail. So thank you and see ya.